Each year, about 80 million eggs are used right here in the United States to produce commercial mayonnaise. But for those that don't or can't eat eggs, well, there is another option. And Jack is here to tell us all about vegan mayo. No eggs were cracked here. <laughs> so this is a brand new category of spreads. Mm -hmm. They can't actually call themselves mayonnaise if they don't have eggs in right. them. So they're dressings or spreads. Sure. I will tell you, many of them are as terrible as I'm imagining you think they are. <laughs> So it's gone mainstream. Okay. Believe it or not, 7-Eleven is using vegan mayonnaise in all of their sandwiches and spreads. Really? Well, the, rather than having two on in stock, makes sense. Everyone will eat it. So you get a Slurpee and a sandwich with vegan mayo on it. <laughs> so you can start spooning it. We also made sandwiches, we made potato salad. I didn't bring any of those here for you today. <laughs> so just on a spoon. <laughs> so the two things that remain the same, they're oil and either vinegar or lemon juice. So you're asking, now what do you do without the eggs? <laughs> wow. <laughs> do I just rock your world? I'm awake. <laughs> <laughs> so there are three choices to replace the egg. So besides adding richness and color, the egg emulsifies the oil. It turns liquid oil into creamy, fluffy mayonnaise. So soy protein, that's one choice. Mm -hmm. Pea protein, actually extracted from split yellow peas, or they can use cornstarch, gums, modified food starch. The latter is really the worst. Mm. Uh, we found that the brands that were reducing the amount of oil were then loading these things up with gums and starches, and well, it's just not very appealing. <laughs> it pulls like taffy. <laughs> <laughs> and is that a good thing? I'm not sure. <laughs> we're not at a fair. I'm not sure I want uh, mayo taffy. You really hate me, don't you? <laughs> I didn't bring fish sauce. All right, I'm going to come back to that one here in a second. Okay. <laughs> Our favorite used the pea protein. And the reason that works is because in this acidic environment, it does a better job of emulsifying. So it is creamy and fluffy rather than greasy and curdled right. and lumpy and all those other bad adjectives we can throw at some of the samples that I'm making you taste here. <laughs> Is there anything that you are liking? There's one that I'm digging on big time, and it's this one. Okay. Because it tastes eggy to me. Well, that's probably a good thing. But, you know, if I wasn't looking for an eggy flavor in my mayonnaise, I would probably go with this one. Uh, I, really nice texture. The color's just slightly odd to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice balance, a little bit of tang in there. This is um, a crime against food, this one, I would say. And what's the worst defect? The flavor is acid reflux. And the, the texture, I would uh, best call it mucilaginous. How's that? Great. It's a bit slimy, okay. right? I, I think I've got the picture on that one. <laughs> and the one there on the end? I mean, after that one, this one's a peach. In your head, when you're thinking of the ideal of mayonnaise. Too tangy. Uh, Too tangy for me. This is my favorite. This is a, a close runner up. That's not bad at all. Okay. All right, where do you want me to start? Let's start right down here. Is that all right? Sure. I just want to see what you put me through. This is Spectrum. You didn't like the Spectrum. <laughs> Neither did our tasting panel. The problem with this is it has two thirds less fat than regular mayonnaise, and they're trying to do too much. You can't take out the egg and the oil. No. Because then what's left, they add a lot of cornstarch. Right. It is not a good choice. Yeah, it really had that slick texture, and actually, you can kind of taste the soy as well. All right, let's go down here, my next to last. This is the vegan option from Hellman's. We didn't really like it either. Yes, It was very perhaps tangy. better than the first one that you just revealed, mm -hmm. but not really good. All right, uh, where should we go next? I'll, I'll try this one. This is just mayo. This is actually our favorite. It is creamy, mm -hmm. it's smooth, and you know, you're tasting it in the most obvious way. Put it in a potato salad, you're not going to really would know. You never, ever, ever know. And this is? Oh, uh, real mayonnaise. So I thought I'd be able to fool <laughs> you. It came close. When we had the winner, the uh, Just Mayo, mm -hmm. we put it side by side with Hellman's. And our tasting panel was really struggling to tell the difference, especially in application, sure. between these two. Well, there you go, all you egg lovers out there and real mayonnaise lovers. There's no need to fear. You just go out and get our winner. It's Hampton Creek Just Mayo. It's $5.99 for 30 ounces. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.
See you later. I'll see you later.